Well, the Rabbi Botox issue has pretty much died a death. Uh, a lot of publicity, though. But I, was, I really was genuinely moved, and I mean this, uh, the support given me by, by so many people, so many Jewish leaders. I mean, it really was, it was, a, it was a lovely thing. You know, the Jewish Defense League w w issued this press release, and B'nai B'rith issued a press release, and the CEO, Frank Diamond, is here with us in studio. I don't want to thank you, because the, well, whilst we've always been friends and we've worked together on issues yes. affecting the Jewish community and so on, we've argued a bit over the years. Indeed, we have. We have. We, we have. <laughs> we've, we've not been your favorite Jewish organization. No, uh, but you issued this press release, and it meant a lot to me. Thank you for that. Well, you know what? We, we didn't have to think much because we, we reviewed the video, um, and it's a matter of principle. When someone is called an anti-Semite, we take that very seriously. Mm -hmm. uh, we do a lot of research before we ever dare to go out on, on the limb and, and say that. And when someone is accused of being an anti-Semite, when they're not, mm -hmm. it's equally damaging. So we, we said, as a matter of principle, we must say something. You cannot be silent when someone is being uh, condemned of, of such a hideous thing. That, it's simply not true. You are not an anti-Semite. You are a friend of the community. You're a friend of Israel. You've stood with us in difficult times. Uh, we have a concept of hakara uh, satov, of goodwill, of, of, of good relations, extending our, our, our kindness to people who are stand with us. You fit well, into that I category. Appreciate that. No, so I, I don't want to uh, you know, discuss too much more of this clownish character. I mean, I realize I need to self-promote. There are all sorts of, 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 of major issues of character that I've been told about. But let's talk about the more important theme of, of, of silencing people. You know, Islamophobe, homophobe, anti-Semite. These are thrown around. And we, we see the Islamic community. We, we see some in the gay community. Yes. That what they're trying to say is you, you are not allowed the right to free speech. Our political correctness at times uh, is overbearing and stifling, mm. quite frankly. Uh, I, I know from our defense and our accusation when, when, when we find individuals who are guilty of racism and bigotry and so on. And uh, you see it a lot on campus yeah. uh, where there is this academic, the guise of academic freedom mm -hmm. where you can get away with it. But if we in the general world make the statements, it mm -hmm. doesn't sit well. Listen, by the way, I just hope that this whole thing with you and the rabbi ends up that you're going to be on Dr. Phil or something. And, <laughs> and it's all a big publicity because I can't believe for one moment that he seriously believes that, that you are an anti semite Well, I don't think he does now. And well, I don't think he did it at the time, really. But he probably thinks, oh, I shouldn't have done that. But it, look, it really doesn't matter. I, as I say, I've had all sorts of letters from serious Jewish leaders. I mean, some I can't even name who they are. Very, very senior people. And what they've said. I, I think, I, let me say something. I take umbrage with, with that, that you cannot say who they are, that they send you a private letter. Uh, well. When it comes to defending someone like yourself in the media, because now whatever is said is on the internet forever, yeah. I think we have to stand strong and tall with our friends. I could have sent you a private letter too, mm -hmm. but I don't think that that's the right thing to do. I think if, if you've been maligned, if you've been accused of a thing that is incorrect, we have an obligation. No, that's good of you. Now, again, though, the, the, the anti-Semitism, anti -Semitism, over the years, some people who criticize Israel have been attacked as being anti-Semitic when they're not. Now, today, it's harder to, to discern the difference because we've got Israel Apartheid Week coming up. Now, yes. even, even that phrase, I believe, is. I, I, I think there is anti-Semitism implied because what you're saying is that Jewish... All nationalisms are fine, apart from Jewish nationalism. Correct. And I think that's terribly wrong. Criticize Israel, most Israelis do. But Israel apartheid says that, the Afrikaner apartheid said, as a race, you are inferior in every way and you cannot be part of our society. It simply does not apply in Israel for all, all of its problems. But this, Islamophobia. Now, yes. I mean, you, you may have been accused of this, I certainly have. If you outline and expose the atrocities committed in the name of Islam, with the victims often being Muslim, people will say, you're Islamophobic, you shouldn't speak, you, you, you don't deserve a voice. Uh, we interviewed Robert Spencer on the show. He's frequently accused of Islamophobia. He's, he's a gentle, kind, loving man, but he will not tolerate hatred and violence in the name of Islam. I, I think you're absolutely correct that the Times did. We, we hesitate, not myself, but others do, because of being accused. I've just come back from a weekend, a conference, uh, uh, well, actually a meeting of the Cross-Cultural Roundtable on National Security in Canada, mm -hmm. where we were discussing this because, as you know, the government has identified as the biggest threat to this country is Islamism, terrorism. Yep. There are people who feel uncomfortable with that. I know. Um, 
Regrettably, the, the document also was more specific and identified Sunni. And, and I think it shouldn't have because it, it, it's sufficient to say mm. Islamist uh, terrorism, terrorists, radicals, and so on. Mm -hmm. But you're, you're correct. There are people who, who will not even go to the extent of saying that, who, who feel a sense of uncomfort because they're going to be attacked. But you have to be very careful. You know, uh, coming back to, to our issue, I, I remember... I remember what slander and ill will can, can do against Stockwell Day. Oh, God, yeah. I, I, I recall when, when, when he was first running against Preston Manning. And again, it, you know, we, we took the position yeah. at that time, you can't vilify. He's a friend. He's a good person. And nevertheless, there was an element even within my community that went about vilifying even Stephen Harper. And now... It turns out that uh, those the, of us the who most phallocemetic leader of a party it, it, in the history of this country. Exactly, yeah. exactly. But but because they were conservatives, because they didn't fit into the norm that where our community was at for the most part, mm -hmm. uh, there was a great deal of fear. Uh, we dispelled that fear. So yeah. we're we're cognizant of of when defending, when coming out, and standing up for principle. Mm -hmm. And we have to be very careful about labeling. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm really hopeful that, that this whole episode with the rabbi... Oh, I really wouldn't worry too much about that. I'm actually rather enjoying it, I have to Are say. You? I, yeah, okay. yeah, I am. Mean, he's such a funny little fellow. I mean, it, 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 it's quite enjoyable. But he, he was Michael Jackson's spiritual guru, and that worked out very well. So we, we shouldn't really... And I haven't been on Oprah, okay? <laughs> I'm just a grassroots guy fighting anti-Semitism. But you see, it, it is damaging to the Jewish community because... When you accuse exactly. someone of something, it, you better be right. It's a very bad thing to be. And when you throw it around just to say, I want to silence you, it, um, it dilutes the, 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 the horror of the accusations. So people say, oh, we're, we're tired of hearing about it anymore. A hundred percent. And that's why we quickly rushed and said, no, 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 you, you can't do that. Because when you make an accusation, you have to be very sure of yourself. Because there's ramifications for everybody mm -hmm. yeah, concerned. Exactly. Once again, thank you so much. Thank you for doing the good fight. God bless. Thank you.